since we are studying exponential and logarithmic equations, I really do need to mention compound interest type of problems. Notice here we are compounding annually. Let's take a look what each variable represents. A will be the amount of money you're going to be generating. P will be the principal. R will be the interest rate expressed in decimal form. And T will be the time. Now, normally we have the formula A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. That will be our general formula. But because we're compounding annually, which means once per year, n is equal to 1 in both of these cases. And I don't want to write r over 1 and n over, or substitute 1 there. So it, this reduces, because of that word annually, to this formula here. Had this compounded quarterly, n would have equaled 4. And we'd go back to this original equation. So now let's go back and look at what we have here. The amount of money will equal 12,000 being invested times 1 plus an interest rate, which is 3 and 3 quarters percent. That'll be 0 0.0375. Make sure that you move the decimal over a couple places to the 15th power, because this will take 15 years. Now, this is a calculator problem. Basically, you're going to type in your 12,000 on your calculator hit your multiplication sign, and then type in 1.0375 raised to the 15th power, and then hit your equal sign. Now, you might not have this up caret key. You might be using an x to the y or a y to the x key on your calculator. It just depends on what you have. And then, because we're dealing with money, we're going to want to round to the nearest cent. So the answer here is $20,845.04. Now, technically, your calculator is going to have this extra 451 on the screen, but we're rounding to the nearest cent here. Please do not take my word for this. You do need, in this chapter, to get used to your calculator and the different ways to press buttons here, because it will get challenging. So please stop, find a calculator, and try this out yourself. Let's do another interest problem. Again, this is compounding annually. So we're going to use the same formula we had above. The amount of money will be principal times 1 plus, and I'm actually going to write this as r over 1 to start getting you used to this, raised to the 1t power. We don't really need those 1s there, but later on, those 1s will change to a number, another number. We are borrowing $15,000, and we're going to have 1 plus 0 0.045 all raised to the 1 times 12 power. Well, you're going to enter this into the calculator just as we had earlier. And this should come out to be $25,438.22 when you round to the nearest penny.